Hey everyone, it's Pat from Pat Serve Music and today we're checking out five classic riffs that I think all beginners should know. Now if you're thinking, but, but what, why would I just want to learn one riff? Well the idea is that once you can start playing some riffs, you might sort of start thinking, oh, guitar isn't as challenging as I maybe originally thought and it may inspire you to play the guitar more or even learn the entire song. So what I would do is I would take this video with a grain of salt, start learning those riffs with one finger, then try multiple fingers, and then try and learn the entire song. But hopefully this should excite you enough to just pick up the guitar and start riffing away. So we've got five classic riffs coming up. If there's anything else that you're having trouble with, send me a message over on Instagram or Facebook, or if you've got more riffs that you wanna learn, leave a comment below. We're gonna do another version of this video, but intermediate guitar riffs and advanced guitar riffs. So if there's something really tricky that you wanna learn, leave a comment below. Otherwise, let's get started. All right, so the first riff you would have heard a million times, it's by Deep Purple, and it is, of course, Smoke on the Water. So diving right on in, I'll show you the one finger method, and I'll show you how to play with other fingers as well. So you're gonna start off by just picking the open fourth string, or that D string. Once you've done that, use your first finger on the third fret of the same string, then move it up two frets to the fifth fret. That's what we've got so far. Very good. Then you start off again with an open string, then third fret again, then same string go all the way up to the sixth fret, and then the fifth fret behind it. So what we've got so far, first part, next part, and the last part, and then you've done, start with the open again, third, fifth, and the end is third fret, then open. And the whole thing. Now, if you want to make it sound a little bit more like the recording and a little thicker, try and use your first finger to hold down the same fret that's on the fourth string as the third string and play it like this. But that's it. Great job. Let's check out the next riff. Another classic riff that so many people have heard over the years that have influenced so many different bands. We're checking out Survivors, Eye of the Tiger, diving right on in. Now at the start, you hear a lot of this. Now what that is, is it's your first finger on the third fret of the fifth string. And all that you're doing is you're resting the meaty part of your palm on the strings and you're just picking down and then up. That's all that it is, so well done. Now, once you've sort of played that for a little while through the intro, you play the third fret, and then you play it again, then the first fret, same string, then third fret. So what that would sound like. You do it again. One more time. Then on the last time, you play the third fret, fifth string, upper string, third fret, one fret over to the fourth fret. And that's it. Now, if you want to make it sound a little bit chunkier, try and turn it into power chords like this. But that's it, that's another riff learnt, well done. Okay, so next one is by the Trogs. It's called Wild Thing, diving right on in. So you wanna use your first finger on the second fret of the fourth string and you wanna play that as well as the open fifth string and you play that twice. And that's like your big A chord. Once you've done that, move your first finger up a string and to the fifth fret and you play that twice. And then you move up two frets and you play that twice. That's what we've got so far. Then back two frets and you play that twice. Now if you wanted, you can turn it all into power chords. And something to practice with this song is getting that sort of sound. It's either resting your palm on the strings or it's resting your fingers on the strings without pushing down and try and get those rhythmic patterns.
Have a listen to the recording and good luck. And next we have by the White Stripes, Seven Nation Army. Diving right on in, let's check it out. So we come all the way up to the seventh fret on the fifth string. So you come all the way up to the seventh fret on the fifth string. Then you play it again. Then you go up to the 10th fret, same string. So what we've got so far. Once you've done that, go back to the seventh fret, then fifth fret, third fret, second fret. So nice and slow. Now that's it, that's the whole riff on one string. If you want it to sound even more like the record, try and mute your palm so it sounds a little bit sort of sneaky. And that's it, that's the whole riff on one string. Well done. So coming in all the way up with your first finger on the seventh fret of the fifth string again, so you're gonna play that three times. Drop down a string, same fret. Only play it twice. Now next is the tricky part because it's a descending melody. So what that was, was ninth fret on the fourth string, seventh fret on the fourth string, and then we'll, I'll show you the rest. Up a string to the tenth fret, then seventh fret again. That's the hardest part of the riff. Once you've done that, play the fifth fret three times, same string, A string. Okay, so the whole thing. And it just goes in a loop and it would start again. Now, it's actually harder to play it with one finger than it is with multiple. So what I would suggest you trying to do is building up to using your third finger on the ninth fret and your pinky on the 10th fret. Just much easier. But otherwise, well done, that's the riff. Great job for making it to the end. Now, if you've got other riffs that you wanna learn, leave a comment below. If there's other riffs that you want me to put in the intermediate or the advanced version of this video, definitely let me know. If you wanna learn more about guitar theory and sort of writing and reading sheet music, check out this playlist. If you wanna contact me at all, head over to my Instagram or my Facebook and send me a message there. Or if you wanna learn more about sort of songwriting and learning more riffs and chords and all of that good stuff, alternate picking, head over to this playlist. But I've been Pat from Pat's Air Music. I'll see you all again real soon. Bye.